Welcome in my other podcast. I have to say that I really look forward so much on this podcast. Really, from all of my heart, I was counting the days today when I will win the podcast. Uh, finally, it's here and I'm so happy for it. But today I want to discuss with you a few things which are really important and I need a response from you actually. But the topic of our podcast will be a Ramadan 2020, so it will be very interesting, I guess. So stay here, stay and listen to me, please. But before this topic, I wanna share with you one my thought, which I don't understand. Uh, the first thing is, the last time I made a podcast and I make a two audio blog behind it directly. I was like five people unsubscribed from my channel, which was kind of a shock for me. Like why only because I post some speaking. So if you don't like it, just skip it. You don't have to listen it if you are not interested. But I have to put it to my channel. Honestly, I have to because of my blog. Because as you know, I'm not a, still a YouTuber, but one day I will be. No worry, I'm sure about myself. But right now I'm a blogger and writer. I write a books and blog and this is my main job and always will be. Okay, and because every my article which I write, I make a video and I have to make it even as an audio blog because not all people on my blog like to watch the videos and they prefer to just listen to me. So please, I really want to ask you, if you don't like this, just skip it, but don't answer unsubscribe please no of course i will continue to make my videos normally you will see me i will have an interesting topic so no worries just keep it and wait on the other video please <laughs> i really beg you from all of my heart the second thing i want to thank you that we are really growing up very fast i see now that in one week now we gain 30 subscribers more because the last time I made a podcast, actually, I was thanking you for 100 subscribers, and now just in one week, 130. So I did. It wasn't like this before. Before it was two, or three people in one week. So thank you for this that you put your trust in me, and I hope to don't disappoint you. And I hope to reach very fast the 1,000 people that we can really move on. And the last thing, uh, the third and last, really. It surprised me on my YouTube was that you love the most my video about the 10 thing about Egypt you probably don't know which even make me happy but it like was like a shock for me because I didn't think that this video will go like viral no way but it happened so I decided I will make a continue of it so it will be more enjoyable and more fun for you so you can look forward and now because it's already three minutes. Oh my god, the intro was so long. Really sorry, but now let's go to the topic and speaking today about Ramadan directly. So, if you are a new, let's say a Muslim or a person who doesn't know Islam, so every year we celebrate the holy month of Ramadan. I was speaking about it in my vlog if you didn't see it you can watch it but the point is that we are fasting 30 days one month we are fasting and praying reading quran and connect to the gut really like our soul and heart should be connected with the gut so it's always the best month of all the year but this year i have to tell you and that's what i want to speak about was kind of very strange for me actually one of the almost worst Ramadan which I ever experienced. Because it actually reminds me the time of my first year when I went to the Islam. Because if you don't know me, so I'm from an atheist family, or from family who doesn't have, doesn't believe in God or doesn't have any other belief, simply nothing, just believe in yourself as a human being. And I decided when I was 17, I will be a Muslim. Okay, and my f actually, I became a Muslim 
before Ramadan, few days before Ramadan, the first Ramadan. And I remember when I tried to keep the first Ramadan, the fasting, I wasn't able to fast in the time because I was still living with my parents and they didn't allow me. So, and I was like a hidden Muslim in this time. So I tried it like at least half of the day and then eat something little and continue, which is not fasting, but really I was trying it. So this time now, because of the coronavirus and the situation which the world wide is, it really reminds me this bad time, the bad feeling as I was fighting for Islam. Even now I don't have to fight, of course. And now I'm fasting, no worry, all the months, everything fine. But it's just about the feeling. It's very strange, especially here in Egypt. Because all the Ramadan which we experienced in Egypt it was so amazing. The feeling, the people, the connection together. But now you will not see anything of this. Just as you could see in the, my vlog, the first day before Ramadan, it had the feeling of Ramadan. The people on the street like look forward, prepare the thing, make the decoration, speaking to each other about the Ramadan, and all was afraid how this Ramadan will be. Because mostly here in Egypt, every day you are in some another home, like visiting family, aunts, friends going to have fitar, the lunch I mean, outside on the sea road, we was having it a lot, or just making the food at home and just go to sit on the sea. It's also so beautiful feeling. But this year, because we all have to stay at home and separately, it's really very strange. I know that the Egyptian people are calling to each other, video call and these stuff, I I actually doesn't like so much to connect across the mobile or the computer or whatever. I don't like it that much, okay? Some people are even afraid to invite each other to don't get this illness or are hidden. No one speaks to anyone almost. You don't listen even the voices. And the worst is that they stop all the prayers in the mosque. There is no press at all, so all you have to do is pray by yourself in the home, which is not wasn't normal, okay? Because it had a feeling that after you eat, have the lunch, after the breaking fast, so you go to the mosque and you pray, pray a lot, then you go home for a short sleeping, then go on the morning prayer, and again pray with the people, and they have even like the breakfast together sharing with the mosque so it was that good and even in the time of Ramadan we have of course a special food special sweets special like kunefa, sobea, enep, whatever and even this year the people are afraid to buy it to get this coronavirus of course I have to tell you that I personally bought it for myself because not that I won't be afraid, but I don't want to stop myself too much from everything. But even I bought it, I bought a sobe and kunefa, I really love this. And I made it and I eat it. It has, it doesn't have the feeling actually the same as you share it with the other people. Okay, in short version, I have to tell you the Ramadan before was one big party not ending party okay it was like you didn't know when is the day and when is the night exactly all together but it has some system the prayers will help you to have the system and you are sure that you finish reading the quran in a time and the prayers will be really excellent with the shaykh and the mask so you don't have to be afraid but now when you're by yourself at home Sometimes you are too lazy, you don't even do anything, you are waking up wrongly, going to sleep wrongly. Everything is simply wrong. So that's the reason why it reminds me of my first year of fasting, which was totally horrible, I tell you now. But I tried, at least it counted. But it makes me also sad because I was planning to make you at least some videos about these uh, 
drinks and food and how the people are connected. I was hoping that like at least, let's say my Egyptian family, they will meet very often with the family, okay, not the foreign people, but at least the family, but it didn't also happen. Uh, we are, I'm going, for example, to visit my mother-in-law and her daughters from time to time visit her also, but it's not so often and we don't really meet. I meet only with one of them, but that's all and the food always which we make, it's not big because as we are not the people also, we don't even want to eat that much. So it's very simple and it has nothing common with the food of Ramadan in normal situation, let's say. So I am getting actually so upset, let's say, and that's why I didn't make any video. And I will not, I guess. Now it's still the end of Ramadan, like seven days. So it could be maybe possible still, but to be honest, I don't want to make it. I know that maybe it's a mistake and I should make a video about coronavirus also, how it's in Japan, blah, blah, blah. But I'm really not addicted at all. Maybe the only thing which I'm deciding still is if I want to make it, I have to make it this week. So it's about the recipe of kunefa and sorbet and I nap. These are three things I want to video the recipes. It's true because it's already on my blog, so you can read it there if you're interested. But the video will be for sure more easy for you. So that's the only thing. Then the last thing about Raman, which I will do, I will not make even a vlog. I don't think so. It will do a miracle if I decide otherwise. And that's all. And I really hope this Ramadan already finished that we can move on and other things. I don't wanna to get stuck because of the Ramadan. But it's really pity. I really regret it that it it is how it is. But it's like really no feeling with this Ramadan. Really f I don't see even with the other people they have other feeling. On the start of Ramadan, like for example, my neighbors, they was making the light at least. It was very beautiful and I was going to watch every night with my daughter to see it. But now they even stop it and no one like care anymore. So as I say, I really like fed up this year and I want to pass this time and to move to every year or new Ramadan. And inshallah, I hope it will be much more better and true to show you everything. But to be honest, I forgot, so I will tell you, I had only one fitar with my neighbor. Uh, she invited me when I was and she was home alone, so we told we take the kids together and have a fitar together. She made us a pizza, which I was happy for because I love pizza and her pizza, oh my god, it was so amazing. I don't like mostly Egyptian pizza, only from the street bakery. But the Egyptians say this is the worst, but for me it's a good one as you can eat from Italy. And she make it even better than what they're selling on the street, much better. So it really surprised me and this was really delicious. So it was the only one day in the whole Ramadan which was really beautiful. Then I had, from time to time, I have it with my mother-in-law, but as I told you, it's just a really very simple food, nothing like... I think wow <laughs> okay really that's all I guess that I have even nothing to say about Ramadan anymore and I guess it's really enough because I'm really getting on board from all of the situation but now if I still are back to the topic of coronavirus so how it is in Egypt now maybe you are interested about it because I spoke now about it toward the Ramadan. Well, I personally see that we are, like always, I see the Egypt is like a two groups. And one of the people like now are back to the life and they are not scared anymore. And the second group still want to keep in home and don't go anywhere and they leave the coronavirus. It's horrible and people are dying and will die and the truth is that Egypt, as I mentioned before, has really high population, very high. 
We are more than 80 million in Egypt. Maybe now really much more. Okay, but which I remember it was number like that. And simply it means that if only one percentage of 80 million will be ill, sick by this coronavirus, so it will be still a big number. So if you go to a hospital, you will see a lot of people actually have the coronavirus at home, a lot of people, but not dying. The people are healing very good way, which I'm very happy for. But I don't see good now to just stuck still in the home for the third month to be because as I see by my own eyes, the life really get back to a normal shape in a lot of things. And I guess now it's very similar like in Europe because I really see that the Egypt is always going with the Europe but like a little, little bit behind her. And I know that now in Europe actually all is going to be fine and people are back to life. So I guess now in Egypt, like after still one month and it will be the same as Europe. Hopefully the two groups will somehow connect and deal about something. But for me personally, I don't want to be stuck in the home anymore, but not to be on the street all the time, you know, just to don't be afraid to go if you want for some short time but not overload anything and of course be careful i guess to be careful is the best option in this time but the life really finally and i'm so grateful for it opened here in egypt much more than it was so it was really horrible for me because i'm kind of person who has a lot of depression and the coronavirus and for good luck I didn't get any heart depression, but it now wasn't that good for me really to stuck in the home. But I was really long time, but and now finally a little bit opening, so we can start the normal life back. Oh, and now when I'm recording this podcast, I remembered one thing which you are telling me over and over, and it's true actually. I admit it. And it is that she was complaining about my voice in the videos and even in the podcast. And really, yes, it's true. I'm sorry for it. And I still have to buy a lot of things to be good YouTuber, let's say. And spe- especially a good mic, which I don't have. And all my recording I'm doing just from my mobile, okay? But on the start, I didn't want to buy it because I didn't know if it was, if it will be good, if someone will listen to me or if I get some subscribers because all of you my subscribers are like it's not like I go for my family and tell them subscribe and I have 100 people okay, no let's say you are like an unknown subscribers who likes me, like my work, what I'm doing and I told myself if I will pass the 100 people so then I will go by so now I'm in the town and I'm supposed to buy, so I hope tomorrow I will go on the street and buy a good mic for you to record good things with good quality, good sound and you can better understand me. Because honestly, speaking in the video with my makeup is really so hard for me. Maybe for some other women it's not that hard, but for me it is. Because my voice actually is weak by itself. So that can be the reason. But no worry, I'm going to buy the mic. Just be patient and it will be sold very soon. My other problem actually is that I'm recording my video across my mobile smartphone. Of course, it's like nowadays I think a lot of YouTubers are doing this. But the problem is that it broke, my mobile broke, and the camera is not good anymore. So I have to even replace the mobile. So again, I know that the last two video wasn't in that good quality because of the mobile is broke. But I will solve it. No worry, just be patient with me and I promise I will solve everything. Okay, I guess we discussed everything what I wanted. And just last, maybe last, yes forgot almost the last thing 
I want to tell you to get ready because I'm going to publish my third book very soon, which I already almost finished. It's missing just like a final end, which I'm also waiting. And I don't even want to tell you now about what the book is. It's still a surprise, but I want you to get ready. It's coming soon. Maybe now you ask yourself, how can I publish the third book, which I published just once. So I'm missing second one. Yeah, that's actually true, but the point is I'm going to publish the second and the third book almost in the same time. Why I publish in the same time? Good question. Because the second book, which is actually a cookbook, which a lot of people are still waiting for the half a year, and I couldn't finish it because I was missing a lot of information which I really needed. But now, alhamdulillah, I have them all the information which I needed. Uh, because someone helped me, which his name actually will be mentioned in this book, which will be also a surprise for you. And how we did it, because behind the second book is a really big story. Big story. It took me so long time, so long preparation. I was changing the book itself like third time, but okay, good. I pass it, and I'm on the end. Just really missing a few pages, and it's done. So that's why I'm going to publish at the same time because a lot of people are waiting on the second book so long time already. So when I finish it, it's published, but between it, I already wrote the third book, so I don't want to wait, like by distance. Doesn't matter, but the good thing that the both books are about totally different topic. I told you the one is cookbook, and the second you still don't know, but I'm telling you it's not a cookbook, it's kind of stories. So it's a difference so if you don't like cooking you will like this for sure and opposite okay so you will find yourself for sure so just put it to your mind put it to your schedule of course i will inform you and we i will also make from both of the book for free here on youtube like a reading of the book I know that my reading is not a quality for sure because I'm a professional of reading books on YouTube, but an audio format I mean. But I guess at least it's good for you, it's for free if you don't want to buy the book or an ebook, it will be two versions. But it's actually a good point also. I know that many people doesn't have the money for example. They would like to read or some information. That's why I make it here for free on the YouTube. But if you support me and you buy my book, so it's making me the money from my book. I put them actually again to this work, like for traveling, for to see other places and people in Egypt and other opportunities. So you are actually supporting my work. It's not going like I'm very so rich because of the book and i'm sitting at home just taking the money and nothing doing no all the money even from the first book i received i actually put immediately again to my blog and to my work especially to my blog at that time i remember so i didn't like add a zero profit for myself really so i'm not doing it this work for a money you have to understand me but i'm really giving you my thoughts and my love to Egypt to learn you about this country as I was promising so long time ago when I started the blog if you are with me since the start for sure you know what I'm talking about if you are new here so this really you have to concentrate with and put it in your mind because first for me is the love to Egypt and that's why I'm doing this Okay, money are very nice and it's good support for you, from you, as I say, and I'm so grateful to you if you buy my book. And it's just opening the new possibilities to me to make more content from Egypt. Nothing more, okay? So, thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Uh, finally, it's a bit longer than the podcast before. Because now the YouTube open me that I can publish the videos more than 15 minutes. So I'm happy for it to make you longer podcast. And we'll make it longer and longer every time. No worries. So, 
Thank you again and look forward to only you next week.